Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can apply Duotone Photo Effect in Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can apply Duotone Effect in very simple steps. There are three ways to create out this effect. The first way is using Gradient Map option. The second way is using solid color with blending option. The third way is using grayscale and duotone option. And after that, I'll be working on a small project where I'll be using these techniques to create out this nice cover graphic design. So let's begin with the designing process. The first step we're going to do is to create out this duotone effect using create map. For that, let's open a new Photoshop document. Uh, let's uh, choose the dimension around 1500 by 900. Uh, let's choose the uh, color mode to RGB and create it out. So here is our file. Set the background color to black. With the alt backspace, I have applied black color. Now let's drag and drop our images. So I'll just drag this image inside here. And here is our image. So now let's apply the duotone effect. So uh, let's go to layer. And over here, if you click over here, you see this option, let's select gradient map option and here we go. It has applied. Let's click on this and let's choose some uh, different other color. So here is our gradient map color. Let's click OK. And if you go to a layer, it's applying to the whole artwork. So we want it to be applied only to the image. For that, uh, with the R pressed, you get this icon. Just click on it to make clipping mask to this image. Now let's do the adjustments. Double click on this and click on it. And this will open this gradient editor panel. Here you see the slider, uh, the left slider represent the darker region this and the right slider represent the lighter region so for a darker region what i need is dark blue color i want to give a bluish tone tint to this image so for that just click on this go into the color and choose dark blue color so i'll just choose this color like this as you can see and for this lighter color tone let's choose light blue color so directly you can see the impact it has given that light. You can adjust the slider over here to check out all the other color ranges. But for now, let's give some bluish tone for this. And I think this looks good. You can go in here and do the adjustments to increase the darkness in the image or you want to lighten the image. You have the control over here. And now let's click OK. And this way, we have applied the bluish tint. Now let's apply some different color in different image. So I'll just import on the image. Let's import this and let's apply green color to this. So for that, I'll just do the same process. Select this layer. Uh, let's apply green map. Then after that, uh, let's choose some different color for this so that we can see the changes. Then over here, just make clipping mask. So just with the all press click and it will be like clipping mask to the image. Now double click on this and now to give the greenish tint to this image, I'll just go over here on the left slider. I'll choose green color. So this is for dark color. So I'll choose green and dark green like this. And after that, on the left slider, I'll choose light green. So let's choose some light green color over here. So you can see directly the changes. It's give you that nice cool effect, nice tint to the color. This one looks good and this click OK. So and this way you can apply. For example, if you have an image with a dark background, so how will you apply this color tint? So here I have got an image with a dark background color. Let's drag and drop it over here and Enter. Now this one, how you can apply the same color tone. So we'll follow the same step. Just apply gradient map or an, I'll just duplicate this gradient map over here. So I'll put the opera, just click and drag it up and it will create under duplicate. I'll just uh, make clipping mask and this will be clipped inside this image. Now let's do the adjustments. Double click on this and for this, let's give some red tone. So for that, just click over here uh, on the left slider. Uh, this will decide the darker tone. So for a darker tone, what color you want to give? So uh, if my lighter color is red, I'll choose some very dark color. So I'll go over here and I'll pick around like some darker tone, uh, maybe a little bit of magenta and bluish like that. And for the lighter color, I'll pick some red color. So I'll just directly go there, pick the red color and it's give you like this, this look. And uh, I think we can do some adjustment with the darker color. We can just uh, make it a little more darker and I think this looks good. So I'll just click OK and here's our image. But as you can see, the lighter tone is little dull. To give that a brightness, we'll add a adjustment layer. So I'll go over here and add brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Over here, just reduce the contrast like this 
and increase the brightness. And as you can see, I'll just make clipping mask to this and here is our image. Keep it below the gradient map adjustment layer and that way you can control the image. Now if you have a lighter background and a very small object, for example like this, how you can apply it. So I'll just drag and drop it into our uh, project file and now let's apply gradient map. So I'll just create a duplicate of this and place it on top and it will apply the red color. Now as you can see the red is very dark, I'll just double click on it and let's change the red color to a little bit dull and uh, the this darker color i'll keep it like this but it's still dull so let's add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer on top and let's introduce the contrast and increase the brightness like this i'll just map this clip it to these images and bring the brightness condition below it so here we go so i'll just do some uh, placement to keep our design look a little cleaner Let's place it. So just uh, making sure some I'm filling up some space, empty spaces with text. Uh, if you have a different design, you can do that. So here is our first design. If you check out over here, I have given some overlay layer over here. So you can easily do that by just creating a rectangular shape on top. Place it over here and give it an angle. And after that, if you go into the layer, place it just above our image. And just clip it to the image like this and after that change the layer mode to like screen like that so this way you can give nice cool effect to your images like this now the second way the second way you can create this effect is using the solid color option so to do that let's import under image so i'll just import this image and let's extend the artwork a little bit here is our image so now how you can apply this effect using the solid color so it's very simple i'll just place this layer on top like there and let's add a solid color on top so go over here click solid color and this will apply solid color let's uh, pick a color for example let's say you want to apply blue color again so i'll choose blue color and let's change the blend mode to multiply so this multiply represent the lighter tone so uh, whatever color you give over here it's going to represent that lighter tone so uh, let's choose some lighter color like this and click ok now we'll create another duplicate of this and change it to lighten and reduce the fill value and now what we'll do is double click on this and choose darker color so this will choose the darker tone of here so i'll just pick some dark color and apply it like that Let's apply clipping mask so just click and clip it into this this is the image and uh, for this you need to make sure that the color image is black and white so uh, let's apply black and white image adjustment black and white uh, you can choose some lighter version or darker version it's on you so i like to choose lighter version and click ok so here we go and now you can uh, directly go in there and do the adjustment like this so this way you can apply this color tone to your image using the solid color option and if you feel like the image is a little darker you can increase the brightness by using the brightness and contrast adjustment layer and just increase the brightness value like this and here we go it gives you that nice cool effect to your image now this is the second way the third way is using the grayscale duotone option and for that i'll just open up an image so i'll click on this open in photoshop and here's our image so to apply the duotone effect using the grayscale duotone option the first thing you're going to do is to go to image mode and click on grayscale and this will convert this image into grayscale so just to discard it and here's our image in grayscale option now if you go inside the image and mode you can see that this option is activated duotone so just click on it and here we got a list of options now if you go to custom you got a list of uh, color gradient as uh, different style that you can apply as per your needs here are a list of color options you can choose from i'll choose this and if you go to pentagon you got a list of color options over here so i'll go and click any color i like and it will be applied to your image like this if you want to some apply some greenish tone you can give that this bluish tone i feel like this good looks good and you can increase the brightness a little bit using this shade like how much darkness you want to give to your image so you can adjust it over here we'll choose this little magenta little purple color and after this once you had uh, done all the adjustments you need to give some names just uh, type out any number or any text and click ok and it will be applied to image 
so here as you can see for this image i have applied a blue tint and over here i have just applied some uh, magenta tint to this so this way you can apply this two tone effect to any image you like and now let's look at how you can use these techniques to create your own graphic design so here is our cover design we are going to create uh, for this i have used this gradient map and some blend layer options so for that let's open a new document for this i pick this uh, size 1500 by 900 uh, keeping it rgb and create here's our document now let's import some images so i'll import this image enter and i'll just uh, mask out the extra region so i'll just use the selection tool and just click and drag and make a selection like this and after that make clipping mask and here's our image now let's apply gradient map so click on this apply gradient map and choose any color then let's pick some color so for this i'll choose some little yellow orange color like this and for the darker tone let's pick some little more darker tone like this and click OK. So here is our image. Make clipping mask to this and here is our image. Now to give this gradient overlay shape, to create that I'll be using some shape. So let's create out a rectangle and create out a circle. So with your press I'll just create out a circle. Now to subtract this circular region from here, just select these two shapes and under properties just click on subtract and this will subtract out this region now here's our shape if i go over here i just delete this out and clip it to the design now let's remove the fill color and apply gradient overlay so just click on it and if you go inside gradient overlay here just click and pick the color so for the first slider we have chosen some magenta dark magenta color like this and for the other slider just pick light blue color and then click ok now you can adjust the size of expansion using this scale slider and even you can adjust the angle of rotation in your design so i think this side looks good because from here i want this color to come out like that that will give giving a little bit tint in the color and the scale size around this and then click ok so we have given that nice color tint to the design just like this now if you see our image look little plain so if you check it over here I have added a brightness and contrast adjustment layer so let's add that I'll add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and let's increase the fade and brightness a little bit I'll click on this add a gradient pick a color so for this let's pick red color and change the blend mode to overlay and then adjust the opacity value as per your requirement so i'll keep it around 50 this will give you that nice contrast to your image here's our image now to create out this other image effect uh, we'll just import the other image so i'll go there and just place it around here enter now uh, for this we have applied some greenish tones so i'll just apply gradient map pick green color so dark green and light green so here we go we can do more adjustments in by going in there and doing the sliding and i think this looks good just click ok and here is our image create under circle will apply the same gradient effect so i'll just go there double click on it gradient overlay here's our effect change the blend mode to hue hue looks good place it around here like this now let's put some text effects so before that let's uh, draw out some rectangle and fill it up with white color then using the text tool let's tap out spotlight change the text color to black command or control t scale up the size and let's choose a nice font for this the font i have used over here is futura and let's uh, increase the distance between each of the alphabet now let's create under duplicate i'll just scale on the size command or control t for this let's increase the spacing around 400 place it around here scale on the size a little bit more let's place it properly do the adjustments with the text and the uh, rectangle a little bit more and you get this nice cool effect make it vertical and change the color to white and here is our design and I'll just shift over the over overall design so I'll just click and drag and select everything and then just move it around here and here's our final output and this way you can use this technique to create your own graphic design like this 
During the process, we have seen how you can create Doton effect in various ways. The first way was using grid map. The second way was using solid color option. And the last way it was using a uh, grayscale Doton effect. And after that, we have used those techniques and created out this nice graphic design cover. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.